I tend to look at the papers here. We're starting with complete sports. And the big one here is uh, uh, Chelsea agrees £72 million pounds fee for Kepa. That's the goalkeeper of Atletico Bilbao. And I'm asking, £72 million? I don't think this is real. Is it this is. real? It is. You know, Thibaut Kutua is trying to force a move to Real Madrid and they don't want to keep a, a goalkeeper that will be disillusioned if he wants to go. Let go of him and bring in another world class goalkeeper. But the price tag. Exactly, that's what is, I'm saying. In a way, the, the price tag. Players are over. I think it's the market. It, it is. No, um, it's not the market. Pass. Maybe because they're uh, responding play, to maybe, maybe, um, demand and supply. That's what I'm saying. The market. But oh, when you look at it in time price, you, know, you know, guys, in times past, when you see these kind of figures, I mean, undoubtedly you say oh, the, the player has quality. But we've seen players, I mean, don't forget, Dembele cost over 100, uh, over 100 million. Barely got to play at Barcelona. So you're having Van crazy Van Dijk as well. Are you looking and, at these and, players? And even Alisson, who moved Alisson. from AS Roma to Liverpool. To Liverpool. Remember uh, that's even slight, slightly uh, better. <laughs> even at that, uh, over 60 million pounds, which is, it's, a, it's, a bit, it's a bit overboard. And now 72 for a goalkeeper. Yes, it's good, but... They shouldn't let this happen. But, I mean, but, but, but sometimes it's about the power of the agent to mm -hmm. negotiate on behalf of his client. I mean, Raula is the agent. So the, this definitely clubs, you get this clubs him, will go broke. It will, it, will, it will break him eye, get the best out of the club side, believing that they can afford to. And the club side will He's pay because they know they can make their money back in merchandise, ticket sales, and what have you. And provided he stays injury free. I hope this is the light of the day because Tiba Kutra is almost done to leave I hope the and deal they need is reduced another world-class goalkeeper. Sorry? I hope the deal is reduced. This is just too much. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> Manchester United <laughs> turning no. down Barcelona offer for Paul Pogba. So he's not going to go anywhere. Paul is remaining. Uh, my, my United would want to keep Paul Pogba. Except if he wants to force a move. You know, Barcelona is saying, like, uh, bring Paul well. Pogba in exchange for Yerimina and other things. Though Man United as well are interested in Yerimina, but I don't think they will let go of Paul Pogba. Yes, he's not been at his best. If you've seen what uh, Paul Pogba did with Juventus, but we know he brings his A game once in a while and has got that immense potential to be even better than he is at the moment. They know what he brings to the table. Whenever he's in his element, and I wouldn't want to let We're talking about Manchester United. Okay, let's move to Sporting Sun. It's the next paper here. Okay, this, for Sporting Sun, has got a different headline than uh, Complete Sport. It says Paul Pogba agrees a, a Barcelona move and Messi approves United Star B. And of course, the takeover of Arsenal is a big headline here. Uh, American billionaire talking about Kronke. Uh, Kronke. Taking. Uh, um, just 30, and it's going to own it. The, the, the supporters trust uh, the club supporters. They already think it's a bad move. But the, the American billionaire is saying, look, I have good intentions for this club. So which one of both is right? <laughs> well, since um, the bid has been accepted by Usmanov, by Usmanov and that will take him to over 90% so shareholding. The, the 3%, the other guys will be forced so to the sell. So the Arsenal support, supporters trust, will be disillusioned, yes, but after a while, they will know it's in the best interest. Yes, it doesn't spend, but when you look at um, the papers, at the end of the day, it will be profitable. Less yes, people are not happy, <laughs> but it is what it is. I'm not happy. And if, if Usmanov accepted, it means it's going to see the light yeah, of but day. You don't blame Usmanov. Uh, you, it was not part of the decision. I understand, because it wasn't on the board. Yes. It wasn't on the board. It's understandable, but it's a business decision. Yeah. And Kronke has shareholdings in NHL, yeah. NBA with the Denver Nuggets, Denver Nuggets. with the NFL. Mm -hmm. and he's a businessman who business knows man. how to run All right. a club side. Definitely, that's not a better off. All right, uh, last one before we go, uh, Sporting Life. Quick response, because we're out of time. Uh, Sporting Life, a lot of stories in Sporting Life, but we'll take this one. Uh, Club World charges Ian Acho to destroy uh, Red Devils. We're talking about the start of the English Premier League. You think Ian Acho will come good this season? Quick one. I hope he does. He has been doing well in preseason. Hope he can continue in that we'll fashion when the season begins this weekend. Okay. He doesn't have a chance, All right. right. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Scotty, I want to thank you as always for your time on the show today. We do appreciate it. A pleasure to be here. All right. I want to thank you as well for allowing us to be a part of your day. Surely this show will return tomorrow because we'd love to do it again. I'm Amy Adebayo. Bye-bye now. And I'm Cecilia Morgan. Thanks for watching.